Oh, what is going on, everybody? Ow! It is Pigs and here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. It's not your tech, it's thing that it's, it's Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Phoenix Wright's just, he's just kind of the mascot, but he's anyways. Here. The mascot! <laughs> well, you know what I mean. They kind of dropped the Phoenix Wright part for these games. It's just he's Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. He's the protagonist. He's not the mascot. Anyways, <laughs> we're about at the end of this. I think we've we've got our final... That'd be like Hoorah calling Makoto Nayegi a mascot. <laughs> oh, come on now. Exactly. Let's let's focus on the big thing here of the fact that um uh, apparently there was apparently potentially there two a orcas. second orca, so we need to learn about this real yeah. quick. I just realized something astonishing, Your Honor. Yeah, we're astonished too. I don't think Simon's gonna gonna ha ha have 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 this. Your face is what's astonishing, right, don't it? <laughs> Your rudeness is what's astonishing, Prosecutor Blackwell. <laughs> he just straight up said a your face <laughs> joke. Yeah. I love him. <laughs> what is this astonishing thing you realized? Until just now, I thought the orca at Ship Ship Aquarium a year ago and Orla were the same orca. However, two inconsistencies lead me to a new fact. Led me. And that fact is that there might be two Aura Shipleys. What? They're two different orcas? But, but that's impossible. What the fuck are you talking about? Two orcas two now? Two orcas? What? That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> order! Order in the court and the gallery. Explain yourself. What is the basis of this preposterous claim? I knew he'd find it. The orca outlandish. show song a year ago and the one now are different. I believe it's because the orca a year ago was a different orca. Two different orcas, two different songs. That explains the show song contradiction. Well, what be, what be this bilge water talk? I don't understand. I'm talking about the truth. Truth that will finally catch you out in your lies. You claim that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were Orla's, but that's not true. Yeah, I guess the other one was missing a tooth. The two different bite, bite mark patterns on the walkie-talkie and on the dummy proves this. What? Two different patterns, you say? Silence. Well, I will concede there's a possibility that two different orcas exist. Bite mark patterns alone are not proof enough. I want more conclusive evidence. All right, I'll show you conclusive evidence then. So he wants to see evidence other than the bite mark patterns, does he? York a year ago and Orla have different songs and different teeth. Don't I have two videos on hand that can be used to compare to those differences? I would also make two videos with which the songs, different songs and teeth can be compared. The CD and the the TV thing, the TV phone. Because it has the two different orcas. Yeah, let's go for it. Because that one has Sasha. I'm going to throw a save just in case we fuck it up. <laughs> Good but. idea. All right. And I'll also see that there's, there's no other video stuff that we have. Because no. that's going to be the Swashbuckler Spectacular video. Yep, and then that's, that's going to be... The old, that's with Azura. Yep. So. And we have nothing else. Nope. I mean, fucking Dr. Crab would have had to know about this. Yeah, he just so didn't say anything. He's probably the one behind it. So here's the Swashbuckler video. And here's the other. The TV phone. Please compare these two videos, one from a year ago and one recent. As discussed, the two orcas are singing two different songs. Please let's pay special attention to the appearance of the two orcas' teeth. How exactly do you claim that teeth are different? Let's look for shots in the, in the two videos where the orcas' teeth are shown. <laughs> this is Oral in the recent video of the Sposhbuckler Spectacular Pirate Show. As you can see, she has all of her teeth. What the healthy smile she has! I'm a bit envious! I have dentures! <laughs> <laughs> Next, let's take a look at the TV phone video from a year ago. Oh, broken tooth. Yeah. Just as I thought, their teeth are different. Oh, I believe this smile looks a little different from the one we saw a moment ago. As you can see, the orca from a year ago has one tooth that's broken off. No. <sighs> the teeth are different, then... Yeah, and a, a broken tooth can't grow back. Okay. Yeah, so the teeth are different. They, of course, leave different bite mark patterns. On the practice dummy, you can see Orla's uniform pattern with all teeth intact. And on the walkie-talkie, you can see that one tooth is missing from the pattern. 
Ah, I see it! This is the smile of the walker in last year's video! <laughs> okay, seeing the smile. Yeah. It's adorable. The tooth marks on the walkie-talkie here, not made by the orca we know. We're not made by the orca we know as Orla. They were made a year ago by a different orca. To two different orcas. But I can't believe it. The statement that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were from Orla was a lie. The truth is, this walkie-talkie was stolen from the victim, Jack Shipley. The only person who could have stolen it is... The true culprit, Marlon Rhymes. Yeah, dude, you almost had an innocent orca freaking put down. How does that feel? No. You got it all wrong. It'd be all the fault of that orca. Oh, boy. He's on a ship. Whoa. Oh. Arr. You got it all wrong. Oh god, this is a hell of a breakdown. Uh-huh. You good, buddy? Blimey. I like this, though. It's <laughs> cool. It'd be the orca's fault. This can't be. Yar, I'm overboard. I... <laughs> Once again. I'm too weak. Oh, no, I'm too weak. <laughs> to help anybody. Is he supposed to be, like, in the brig? Bro, that was some. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Jeez. I loved it, though. How thematic! <laughs> well, it would appear we should hear more from the defendant about Ora Shipley. Sasha Buckler. Y yes, Captain Judge? Is what Mr. Wright claimed true? Are there two different orchids? I... I, uh... The secret that Ship Shape Aquarium was hiding was about Orla, wasn't it? Mm. Dr. Grab told me to focus on the orca's song. He hinted it would be a clue. Phoenix is right. The one we call Orla is the second Aura Shipley. There actually used to be two orcas at Ship Shape, Aqu Ship Shape Aquarium. I used to call the first Aura Shipley just Aura for short. Aura and Orla are sisters. The captain rescued them both when they got beached on the shore. But Orla was in bad shape, and the ship's doctor had to look after her for a long time. Both orcas loved the captain, so we decided to keep them on at Ship Shape Aquarium. Why did you say something about there being two orcas? Yeah. Well, because... After the accident a year ago, Aura was put down. Oh, What? Aura is dead? Yeah, the Center for Dangerous Animal Control demanded it. Apparently, the captain and the ship's doctor begged them. We put the first one down, so please leave the second one alone, they said. Anyway, after the accident a year ago, the captain told us he was going to put Orla in the pirate show as Aura Shipley. He asked us to keep quiet about Aura's death until the time was right. Hmm, what a surprising and complex tale! Did all Ship Ship Aquarium employees know about this? Probably not. No, just a select few of us. Mr. Rhymes, did you know about it? Sounds like that's a no. Yeah. Of course not. How would I? <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Rhymes, did you plan on killing Orla from the start? I'll just have him be normal yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, I plan on doing it during the cleaning, so I drained the pool. I figured if I didn't do something about that beast, Sasha's life was in danger. Sasha trusted that orca. Just as much as Azura did. I wanted to protect her. Couldn't help Azura, so I felt like protecting Sasha was the least I could do. My duty. Put up my strength so I'd be ready to kill the orca. I even fall with sharks. But the captain realized my plan and tried to save the orca. And that is why you killed Jack Shipley. And it wasn't even the uh, it wasn't even the, the the right orca. He killed him for no reason. Yeah. Now the report from the crime lab finally makes sense. What? Report from the crime lab? What have you been hiding? In court yesterday, you will re recall I showed a photo of the victim lying on his back. Uh-huh. According to the lab, the bruise on the victim's right wrist was Rhymes' handprint. Wow. His handprint? I didn't know how to fill in with these. I didn't know how it fit in with the case until I heard Rhymes' story just now. But now we can imagine the reason for it being there. Rhymes has made the handprint when he fought with the victim over the orca. Jesus. 
handprint made during a struggle. And you didn't think to mention that sooner? <laughs> I don't care what happens to me anymore. I deserve the death penalty. I'm the one that killed the captain. Please give Stasha a not guilty verdict. <laughs> you accept your defeat well, I see. Let me be your guide. To hell. Oh, that's cool. Get on with the <laughs> verdict, your baldness. That was dope. <laughs> well, you're like a grim reaper, aren't you? It seems this unprecedented trial has begun with an orca as a defendant. It's finally come to a close. Nasha is saved. Orla's going to be so happy. Hmm. Sasha's not guilty verdict is coming. Why do I still have this strange nagging feeling? Why is his hampered on the victim's right wrist? I was gonna say, to me, it seemed almost more like he maybe tried to catch the captain, so he, like, grabbed him really hard. Yeah, because we still haven't presented the handprint on the ladder. We haven't presented the, the ladder. ladder at all. Nope. Was it really the result of a deadly struggle over mm, the orca? No. I can't shake the feeling that handprint has some other hidden meaning. Is this trial going to end without revealing the whole truth? Say hold it. Very well. This court finds a defendant, Arthur Buckler. Hold it! Hold it! Yep, there, there it are. is. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hold, Phoenix, what? what? <laughs> Your Honor, please hold off on that verdict. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Have you lost your marbles? Just hold on a second. I never had marbles to begin with, but I would like to further oh, explore this new neither. evidence. <laughs> the prosecution just submitted. Twinsies! <laughs> but what complaint could you have? You are about to get your not guilty verdict. I see no need to further prolong this trial, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, we still don't know the entire truth of this case. This unnatural handprint Mr. Rhymes left on the victim's right wrist. I don't think it was the result of a fight between the two men. Not the result of a fight? The fuck are you doing? <laughs> then what do you suggest it was? Boss, what are you doing? <laughs> do you remember that evidence we found at the show stage? Evidence? What evidence? That mysterious mark might be the key to understanding this whole case. Wasn't it an Your accidental Honor, death? The defense would like to submit evidence that would expose the truth of this case. A mysterious piece of evidence that pairs with Mr. Rhymes unnatural handprint. The ladder, finally. I was yes. gonna say, we never used it. No, we didn't. We thought of using it before, but it went to other things yeah. instead. Marlon Rhymes left behind a very unusual set of fingerprints at the show stage. In what way were they unusual? They were upside down. <laughs> they were right hand prints that too. <laughs> on the left side of the ladder. If I were to grasp the ladder in the same way as the prints, it would look like this. Hmm, it looks like the ladder is being grasped from above. Exactly, Your Honor. And the handprint on the victim's right wrist shows it was held with a powerful grip. Ron Rhymes grasped the show stage ladder in unnatural pose. He was gripping the victim's wrist in this position. Gripping the victim's wrist? The, then, then he must have been. It means Mr. Rhymes was actually... That's right. If we couple the unnatural handprint with the mysterious fingerprints... Yep. We see that Ron Rhymes is trying to save the victim's life. What? That's very different than killing him. Yeah. But, but that can't be. It's impossible. Why don't we ask Mr. Rhymes himself? Yeah, I... Mr. Rhymes, we want to hear the truth directly from you. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Mr. Lawyer. You got skills. Why? Why'd you have to figure it out? It doesn't matter what happens to me anymore. I'm ready to die. Oh, come on, man. So is what the defense is claiming true? The captain, he found out I drained the show stage pool. Rushed the side of the pool, frantic to put some water in for the orca. And then, he slipped.
Get the, give me a left hand. No, Marlon, you fall. You'll fall too. <laughs> Forgive me, Marlin. <laughs> I didn't realize what deep pain you were in. But please, please don't blame Orla. It's nobody's fault. Not Orla's. And not yours. Hey! Wow. Captain, no! <laughs> Captain! So, that ship is that was accidental. Why didn't you tell us that you didn't kill the victim? Because I have no right to live anymore. I'm ready to get the death penalty. So he just blames himself. The captain died because yep. of me. Now on top of it all, I used this body to frame Orla. I was gonna kill Orla and she wasn't even to blame. She didn't do anything wrong. The only thing I can do now is pay for it all of my life. I can't do anything. I couldn't save the captain. I couldn't save... I couldn't avenge Zora's death. Mr. Rhymes, about that, uh, <laughs> you have the wrong idea about Miss Summer's death. Not even the first Aura Shipley was responsible for her dying. Aura, of her own accord, was trying to save Miss Summer's life. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Zora Summer suffered from a heart condition. But she didn't tell anyone and she performed in the pirate show anyway. She had a heart attack and died before anyone could save her. I'm sure she didn't think Aura attacked her. There's nothing to avenge. He's like, oh. No way. <laughs> a heart condition. She never said a word about it. I've been living a lie even more. <laughs> Just to rub more salt in the wound. It's like, by the way, you did this all out of fucking nothing in the first yeah. place. <laughs> you, you were, you, multiple people died for no reason. <laughs> Maybe she didn't want you to worry about her. So I wanted to get revenge all this time. Over nothing. For nothing. Yep. You know, I'm going to break the mood here for a second. What do you mean? Let's just say, if Azura had, like, come clean about her heart condition, none of none this would have happened. happened. Yeah. She would have died when people would have been like, oh, it was a heart attack. The orca did nothing, wouldn't have been put down, yeah. which wouldn't have led to Marlon Rhymes trying to drain the pool of the water, which then led to Jack Shipley dying. Yeah. All of this could have been avoided if Azura had not been so selfish and put down performing for a minute. You know, boom, butterfly effect. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's going to happen again to this? I bet you Sasha, with her heart conditions, is still going to go and perform with Orla after this. Yeah, probably. And now that's concerning too. But anyways, back to the sad mood. So neither case was murder. Not a year ago, and not this time either. Your responsibility in this matter is great, but I believe you can be re rehabilitated. Get some therapy, too. <laughs> Marlin, you better come back to Ship Shaped Aquarium when you're done, you hear? Orla and I and everybody will be waiting for you. You still have a lot to offer, Mr. Rhymes. Live your life and never give up. For the sake of those who are gone as well. I promise to make up for what I've done. Even if it takes me my whole life. Mr. Wright. Sasha. Thank you. Ooh. Boy, oh boy. Well then. He never, Are we going to get our not never, guilty verdict He never yet deflated. Now? No, he's just still massive as hell. <laughs> well, I have seen countless trials, but never one that ended like this. I don't know how, Mr. Wright, but you always seem to manage to turn things around. It's just that whole turnabout thing. It's fine. It's not. It's just part of the thing. It's <laughs> like it's your stick or something. <laughs> I think all of this excitement has taken a few years off my life. Does that mean I'm going to die next week? <laughs> Is that praise or a diss? <laughs> now then, let's court find a defendant, Sasha Butler. 
Not guilty! Confetti! Yay, we did it! Look, boss, confetti! Uh, God, <laughs> not again. It's been so long. God. He's just screaming uh, on the inside. What do you what do you think of the confetti, Simon? Isn't it nice? Start slicing it all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate challenge. <laughs> Court is now adjourned! Taka eats one. Taka no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, coughing oh. confetti for a week. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess we're just going to forget about it, doing anything outside of the courtroom. Just going right to the aquarium. Yep. All right. Congratulations on your win. Thank you for your help today, Pearls. <laughs> All I did was have fun with Orla. Hey there. Hello. Orla, I'm back. Oh, I missed you, girl. Oh, I'm so happy for you and Orla, Sasha. Everything turned out great. Phoenix, Athena, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oral and I are both really grateful. I will now out doubt me gratitude with a little performance. Arr. Miss Orca lover, don't you think you better take care of your health first? Uh, all right, fine. I promise. No more shows until I'm better. I don't want anybody to worry about me after all. There you go. Yeah, because you said it could be fixed with surgery. Yeah, I'm glad that's settled. Hey, buddy. Mr. Lord. You just had to blab every single one of the Grim secrets, didn't you? <laughs> Listen here. Okay, I'm glad you fixed it. But now, my ass is under fire because that legal fucking <laughs> setup. So who's going to take care of this fucking orca now? You? Good luck, buddy. Here's the, here's the computer. Have fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Crab. Nah, it's all right. I'm glad. It's that really contradicted your bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although, thanks to you, they now know we're using the illegal torpedo system. There it is. But I think we're able to wake a lot of serious repercussions somehow. Now, right, a lady is advocating for us, saying the law itself is to blame. Yes, he's going to look into getting the law changed. How's she going to do that? Wow. Go, Mr. Plume. She sure is a powerhouse. <laughs> She's terrifying. There's one thing you didn't figure out, by the way. Keep this to yourself, will you? We don't want it getting out publicly. What? Remember the appointment I had written down on my calendar? Oh, you mean meet the captain at the orca pool at 7 a.m.? And no, meant the orca pool of the Super Marine Aquarium, not Ship Shapes. What? Why are you supposed to meet there? Jack and I visit the Super Marine Aquarium once a month. Any idea why? <gasps> is is Orla's sister there? I think so. They Yo! Faked put <laughs> this was my first rodeo of faking putting down an animal, let me tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> um, to get dolphin therapy treatment? No, silly, remember I told you? Jack and I were against putting the orchid down from the start. What? You mean? They just transferred her? I just pretended to put the first warrior Shipley down. The super immune aquarium is harboring her for us. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, uh, so that talk about large amounts of money you're paying them. Was once a month, the owner and the vet disappeared from this aquarium, and I came to find out that each time a large amount of money was being paid out. We're renting out a tank. <laughs> <laughs> We're paying for his care. Uh, you wouldn't believe how much fish workers eat. <laughs> oh, a lot. Now that's been proven she was innocent all along, I think we can bring her back soon. Till then, keep it under your hat, Kay. <laughs> oh, huh? What was he telling you about? Oh, nothing much at all. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, by the way, Orla wants to give you her, her aura. Wants to give. Wants you to give her a little celebratory prize. There, there we go. go. <laughs> or a specific Orla specifically requested that you, <laughs> that you give it to her, Phoenix. <laughs> All right, fine. I, I, I used to speak see. with animals. What can I give her? Fimsh. Walkie talkie. No. no. Fish. <laughs> Give him you want my badge? No. Okay. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Orla, it's coming a late day. It's coming a day late, but congratulations on your verdict. Oh, that's adorable. Don't eat his hand. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> oh. Oh <He's> no. <laughs> Oh my, aren't you the 
Orky! You got an Orca kiss! <laughs> That's Orla's best trick! The thank you kiss trick! That was adorable! That was fantastic! Orla, I wanna be next! <laughs> <laughs> that had him shook! Yeah, he's... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be expected to be licked by an Orca either, so. Yeah. And so, the curtain fell on my first trial in years. Looking forward to the comeback at Sasha and Orla's swashbuck were spectacular. That was adorable. After all, I made a comeback of my own. As a lawyer. A few, a few months, months later. later. Ooh. Data Day ah, time, time ah. Ah. Ship shape aquarium? <laughs> <laughs> Entrance? <laughs> It's been a while since I visited Ship Shape Aquarium. God, this song's gonna be in my head. <laughs> now that Sasha's recovered from her illness, she's performing today. There's still some time before the show starts. I think I'll wander around a bit. Hi, Phoenix. Hope you enjoy the show today. The Yurkas are excited and ready to go. I'm sure I'll enjoy... Wait a minute. Did you say Orcas is in plural? Yep. Let me show you. <laughs> what? Two Orlas? Don't tell me. Yep, you caught it right. Aura Shipley, the first, has returned to Ship Shape Aquarium. We be the three pirate sisters, Are We be out to stop the evil Skywag League, led by Red Stash and the giant octopus. Well, I don't want to get in the way of their rehearsal. Guess I better go. Oh. I'll be watching you later. Yay. <laughs> Well, if it isn't Blue Boy, did you come for the, my book signing? Oh, Mr. Plume, there's a book signing? Yes, my new book is just out. It's called Ship Shape Aquarium. Don't pull the plug. The book <laughs> signing will oh be God. held here in this room. After all, the vet owes me a favor. Uh, yes, she's got them to approve the use of the torpedo. I'm grateful. <laughs> but why does she keep coming to my lab to bother me every single day? <laughs> My next work will be entitled Sniper, the Penguin Leaves the Nest. Now you're fine, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. God, stop this cacophony. Why am I surrounded by carping females? <laughs> Gee, Dr. Crabby, it's all the ladies. <laughs> I guess I'll leave him to it. It's not like I'm any different. <laughs> Perhaps it's almost time for the show. Where have you been, Daddy? Polly and Athena already went in. While we were waiting, I bought some souvenirs to take back to the village. Sorry to keep you waiting. I bet they'll love your souvenirs back home, Pearls. By the way, I hear a certain someone is going to be in today's show. A certain someone? I wonder who it could be. <gasps> Ooh, it's almost time. The show's about to start. All right, let's go to the show stage then. Wait, has anyone seen Apollo? Apollo? Has anyone seen Athena? <laughs> oh, hi, Apollo. I saved you all seats, Mr. Wright. Hey, thanks. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I get to see the show again. I'm so happy I want to dive in the pool. You better not. I think they'd call security. You're welcome in the pool anytime, Athena. But Red Stash is the best swimmer of all. Huh? Who be up playing Red Stash's role? Sasha, oh, and all are ready to go. Uh, probably. Hey, I know that voice. Yep, you men know it. Marlin is back and he's playing the role of Red Stash. I was low-key hoping that when Pearls was like, you won't believe he's in the show. I was hoping that, like, Apollo wouldn't be there and he's just suddenly like, uh, like why, tied to the ship mask. Why would he agree to do that? He doesn't agree to anything. He gets dragged into it. Let's be honest here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> It'd be the new Swashbuckler Spectacular. Hope you enjoy it, me buckos. Oh, I'm sure we will. I'll enjoy anything I can watch you in. Oh my god, calm down. Ooh. Or are we not going to see it? And so, nope. our pirates set sail for bluer seas under a sunnier sky. Oh. The end. As for me, I set foot into the world of law once more as a full-time lawyer. Ooh, the music. Am I not going to get to see the show? <laughs> I was hoping for this show. 
Show. Show. Show. No! Nope. <laughs> oh, pain. Oh. Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> I can't be mad. That was a nice case. Yeah. That was wonderful. That was awesome. That was dope. Nostalgic sweater has been unlocked. Wait, what? Oh, the sweater. I got more costumes? That, the, the knitted sweater. Is that a fucking DLC outfit for yes, Phoenix? Yes, I've seen it. It is. I hold, 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 please. Hold, please. Fully grown Phoenix can wear the sweater, yes. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> there it is. Oh, dear God. With the mask and everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> well. And the scar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else, but. Oh, my God. I think on that note. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Put it the, back uh, in his normal clothes, nope, please. No, this is how we're going out. No, this is, no, this is the outro. No, I need to see the nice new spiffy suit, please. This is no. You get it for five seconds. <laughs> okay, One, that's a lot better. Two, three, four, <laughs> five. Look at the back. You're going to do the full spin. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, back to the Why? Mind he before. even has his sneakers. He even has the freaking sneakers on. So, everybody, <laughs> thank you for watching no. the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies DLC Get case. Phoenix out of the microwave. <laughs> nope, he's staying right here. See, I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the DLC case. Uh, oh, we'll my be... God. It's PW for Phoenix Wright. Yes, it is. I. We I, will be. Has it always been like that? I don't know. We will be playing at some point soon. Uh, the uh, Spirit of Justice DLC. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> You're just over here having a nightmare crisis. Yes. Uh, we'll be playing the Spirit of Justice right. DLC, uh, not immediately because Allie and I are going to be going on vacation soon. Yeah. But once we're back from that, or once we get free time for it, we'll be going ahead and playing that. And don't uh, worry, we're recording stuff in advance, so you guys will still have your videos. Yes, exactly. We just can't record too much. Yeah. But hopefully, you all enjoyed, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye! This Bye. is a nightmare. Nah, this, this, this no. is great. This is fantastic. No, it's not! It's great. Put it back in the hot outfit, please! Nope, this is Evan. gonna be it forever. <laughs> no!